Welcome. Have you noticed if you draw a 4x4 four four square that the area of the square is 16 and the perimeter of the square is also 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 16. They have the same numerical value. Or a circle of radius 2. The area of the square is pi r squared, so 4 pi, and the perimeter of the square is 2 pi r, 4 pi. They're the same. Um, it, there are rectangles with this property. For example, a 3 by 6 rectangle has the property this area is 18 and its perimeter is 3 plus 3 and 6 plus 6, 18. Or there's a right triangle with this property, uh, the 6, 8, 10 one. Its area is a uh, half of 6 times 8, 24, and its perimeter is 24. And if you know Heron's formula, here's a triangle. It's 7, 20, and 15. Its perimeter, that part's easy to work out, is 42. With Heron's formula, you can work out its area is actually 42. So there are shapes out there with the property that their perimeters have the uh, same numerical value as their areas. Um, there's a lot going on here, actually. Uh, one question we could ask, we can stick with, say, one shape, like uh, squares and rectangles, they're easy to analyze. Is there another rectangle? We've got two eggs here, with integer side lengths of the property that area equals perimeter. Well, the answer is no, and this is it. Um, these two are it. So we'll, let's see if I can quickly prove that on the side here, if I make some space. Suppose I have a rectangle, oops, I need a pen, with area equal to perimeter. That is, area AB has to equal twice A plus twice B. Uh, let's solve for B. So uh, A minus 2 times B must be twice A, tells me that B better be 2A over A minus 2. Uh, that looks very much like a fraction. Let me see if I can sort this out a little bit. Make this 2A minus 4 plus 4 all over A minus 2. The reason I did that because the first term is just double A minus 2. So that's 2 plus 4 over A minus 2. Now that very much looks like a fraction right now, so there's a formula for B. But if I want to stick with whole numbers, I can do it as long as I make this denominator a factor of 4. So that means I either need a minus 2 to be 1, that is a equals 3, or a minus 2 to be uh, 2, which is a equals 4, or a minus 2 to be 4, which means a better be 6. Well, then, given that uh, a is possibly 3, that gives me 3, and b turns out to be 6, got it. a equals 4, if you check, if a is 4, then b turns out to be 4, got it. And if a is 6, then b turns out to be 3. Just plug into the formula for b, and I've already got it. So that's it. They're the only two examples of rectangles the property that area equals perimeter. As an exercise for you, um, see if you can find another right triangle with the property that is area equals perimeter. I gave one before. There actually is another one with integer whole sides. Now, the reason I said this is curious, and uh, well, maybe not, but maybe it's something you, you can play with, uh, there's something deep going on behind the scenes, maybe, if you think about this in a certain way. Whoops, I'm trying to clear my board here, having trouble. A high school teacher in Hawaii by the name of Michael Harrison actually pointed out to me this little curious property. And you can play with all sorts of shapes. Challenge for you. This is going to be nothing but challenges. Given my rectangle, we prove that area equals perimeter if twice a plus twice b equals ab. I could rewrite this formula as dividing everything by ab um, as uh, 2 over a plus 2 over b equals 1, or if I divide by 2, 1 eighth plus 1 b equals 1 half. So there's the condition for area to equal perimeter for a rectangle. If you did this for a parallelogram, now here's what I need you to prove. You've got one height you can measure this way, height 1. You've got another height you can measure this way, do, 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 do height 2, proves that its area equals its perimeter when those heights have the same property. 1 over h1 plus 1 over h2 equals a half. Or, uh, another challenge for you, da, 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 da. prove that a triangle has perimeter equal to area if you measure its three heights, I'll call them h1, h2, and h3, Area equals perimeter if and only if 1 over height 1 plus 1 over height 2, 1 over height 3 is, again, a half. Or, since we saw it for a circle, a circle of radius 2, uh, being 2, has area equal perimeter if r equals 2, which I'll write as 1 over r equals 1 tooth. A triangle, one can prove, has a circle sitting inside it. You can prove its area equals perimeter if the in radius, the radius of the inner circle, again, is one half. All challenges for you to prove. 
In fact, I think I'm going to write this up as an essay in written form so you can actually explore this a bit, for, a bit further. I'll put this on the website short, shortly. But the essay is going to be called Integer Triangles because I've got lots to say about triangles with integer side lengths. So look at the website for the integer on integer triangles and I explore this property a little bit deeper. There's lots to go, out, go on here. Um, plus you can actually go to three dimensions. When, when does surface area equal volume? Lots of fun to be had. All right, that's just a little teaser of a video, I guess. Um, thanks very much.